Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I had given you a problem statement in my previous video regarding data structures and algorithms and that particular problem statement I had not completely defined. So now I'll give you an idea about competitive programming and this will be the first problem statement. I know we have not completed data structures and algorithms for solving this particular problem statement. You don't require any data structures and algorithms as such because simple logic of code, you know, you'll be able to actually solve this particular problem. And don't worry, don't worry about the time constraint it is taking. Don't worry about anything that how much time it is taking or how much memory complexity or memory, sorry, space complexity it is actually taking up. So make sure that you try to solve this, search in the internet, try to search something so that you'll be able to understand. Okay. Now, always remember guys, whenever you are building logic, just go line by line to understand this particular problem statement. Now I am going to give you this particular problem and remember this particular problem statement is the interview question from top notch, uh, top notch product based companies like Ola, Uber, Facebook, Amazon, Google. So this kind of questions I'll be taking it up and I'll be presenting it in front of you. So I'm reading down this particular question and this question will be put up in the description for your reference purpose. Now, Suppose we have an array of n integers. So total n integers I have, it can be any value where every element is from the range. Suppose every element is from the range 1000 to four nines. Okay. Then the task is to make the array non decreasing by changing only one digit. Okay. So what does this basically mean? Suppose if I have an example as on my input, Suppose my input looks something like this 1095, 1094, 1095. Now, suppose in this particular case, I don't consider in what order this particular input is. I don't consider, okay, I don't have to worry about it. But my output should be in a non decreasing order. Now, here you can see that this, this, this may be an ascending or descending order, it is fine. But my output should be in the form of an ascending order or non decreasing order and I should be only able to change one bit. Okay, I should be able to change only one bit, one bit in this particular array, only one digit in this particular array and try to make this as an, in an ascending order or you can see in, uh, say in a non decreasing way. Okay, non decreasing order. So here, if I take this particular example, remember this first element should become the smallest element if I'm applying this particular logic. So suppose if I convert this nine to zero, this will become one zero zero five. Now what about my next element? In my next element, what I'll do is that uh, I will try to again take this nine and always remember this number should be greater than this. If I make it as zero four, this will be smaller number. So what is the next number that I can do? I can actually change this nine to one. Okay. Now similarly, what about this? What about this particular number? Right now for changing this particular number, I can basically write it as two five or I can also write it as one five. I can also write it as one five, one five, two five, both will match. Now here you can see that here is in an ascending order and what I have done, I have just changed one bit and converted to this. Again, guys, this is just a problem statement. Tomorrow I'll be discussing the solution for this for, for you all, how we can actually solve it. And remember, I'll also show you how to actually code it in Python. Okay. Okay, guys, let me take another problem statement. Suppose my input is, suppose my input is this many fives, this many fours, this many threes, this many twos, and this many ones. Okay, now I should be able to write a problem statement or code in such a way that remember, I should be able to convert this like how I have actually converted into this. Right. So I have to basically write a generic code. Now in this particular scenario over here, you can see my input is in a uh, descending order, you know, from largest to smallest. Now, suppose if I want to find out the output by applying the same logic, the output looks should look something like this. This five, I'll try to convert this into one. Now this will become the smallest element. Okay. Now, similarly, if I try to convert this number, this four will get converted to two. Right now, remember this is greater than this. That is properly exactly fine. You know, now what about this particular number? This number, I can take it directly also, right? I can take it directly. I can take this directly because this number is greater than this particular number. But understand if I take it directly, what about this numbers and this number that also we need to have a look. You need to take that thing into consideration. So in order to convert this, what I'll do is that I'll make this as 3033. 
and remember whatever next number I'm choosing it should be at least some difference should be there not a huge difference because it will be difficult for this particular numbers to actually change in that order then okay then what about this one for this one what I can do is that I can just convert this 2 to 3 and this will become my two, uh, 3 triple 2 right then similarly I can convert this 1 to 4 and then this will become like this remember in this particular problem statement you can change any digit from that particular array element so you have to think of this particular logic guys this is what is competitive programming I know you know how to code but writing the logic considering the time constraint considering the uh, you know um, space complexity it is pretty much important so again this is just a problem statement guys try try your level best like however you can I don't have to you don't have to worry about time complexity or space com complexity just try to write down whatever you can and uh, tomorrow I'll be coming up with this particular solution I'll be showing you the pseudo code and I'll, I'll also help you to write the Python programming language so yes this was all about this particular video I hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed I'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye